Yeah, well, it's not how you get people to uh, accept it. Whenever I, I disagree, I do. I don't need you. Why do you think I need you? Well, you need Peterson because you're poor as fuck if you want to build a billion dollar building. He's poor as fuck. You need his audience. You need him to magically save your life by believing, and where nobody else has done, that you have the answer. You're the only he's person. Gonna save, he's going to save my bullshit. You're the only person. Save your bullshit. He's the only person. You're the only person in the world who thinks you have the answer to the world. Like you're the, yes. Yes. That's not, that's not good when you're American and you've been spoiled and you got some free money through Bitcoin. And now, like me, like you ma- wish you could magically get money to do something, and if not, you're just going to keep working on your art- artistic project until you die. I would not trade yours for mine. I wouldn't. I love you, but I wouldn't trade yours for a tenth of mine. I wouldn't trade a design for a city, unless it looked gorgeous. For no, no, I'm not even. I haven't even been to the page. Why, why am I watching videos when I'm talking to someone? I can watch videos. It's three seconds. It's a three-second video. Yeah, I'm. I'm not touching my phone. I'm trying not to touch. My phone right now. I'm trying. I'm talking with you, not watching recorded shit. I hate watching recorded shit. The difference between recording shit and listening to recorded shit is fucking huge. No, you're not gonna, and then and then you're gonna get fucking upset. Right, and you're gonna annoy the shit out of your fucking parents, and like, because, and you're like, I'm not the Messiah anymore. I'm still the Messiah. It's just continue to be relatively healthy, and you know, don't ever go back to months of straight, you know, psycho delicacy eating. Just continue to recover your brain and oh, way, stop the bullshit. On my first tattoo, it's all caps. I am Jesus. Kevin, okay, you keep this up. Uh, if you keep this up, I won't even come to your fucking funeral. I'm, I know, but you're in danger also, and in a different way, and, and you have not spent a lot of time inventing, like, small things that could get you a fucking house and a ranch and a, and a workshop. Like, you, your thing has to go very big. You have not focused on anything small. You don't have anything small, as far as I can tell. So you can't, you have no way to make money unless you hit it huge. So you're betting everything on a fake preacher who's, who's speaking to tens and hundreds of millions of people who are not fucking, they're not geniuses. They're never on their own going to have great lives. They're never actually going to be alphas. There's not enough fucking alpha positions and we don't even need them. He named it the Ark. He named it the Ark. He, which is the name of something from the Bible. I am a Bible dozer, right? You are a Bible shit artist. I'm a Bible dozer. Why do you keep thinking I'm going to join you? You have religion, fake. I'm out. You have monarchy. Religion, that, the whole world is foundationally built upon religion. You have monarchy, fake. I'm out, right? Like, there's a bunch of things. Your, your democracy has never created anything. Listen, you fucking F word. Listen, you fucking F word. Did you record any of this? Yes, I'm recording this whole thing. Um, well then stop the file right now and restart it. Okay? This is historic. Stop stop the recording and restart the recording, you fucking this retard. Isn't historic. It's Jordan retard. Bringing us to the land. retard. Retard. He can't even say retard. I am Cosmosis, you fucking retard. Oh, God, I hate this. Stop recording. Start a new recording. If you don't send me the recording because I had to restart my computer and I talked to you, I dignified you people. I am Cosmos us. You're sus as fuck. Um, either get this file through Google Drive within 24 hours or you're going to be banned. Um... Yeah, because I, I had to restart my computer. You think it's historical? I think it's historical because you're trolling. You're trolling. You're trolling. You're you're, you're trolling me. I had to restart my computer. Like I'm not Jesus. Like I'm not you, retards, fucking fake motherfuckers. Y'all do respect. You fucking retarded and trolling. Y'all do do. <laughs> Yeah.
Get him off my fucking screen. Kev, why, why is he on my screen? Who? Fucking Peterson! I told you to watch the video. Get him out of here, he's horse shit. So what if he's changes your life and changes my life and changes the entire world? You said, what if he's changes? Um... What are you, Trump? You can just fucking say anything now? What if Jordan Peterson changes our lives and the lives of everyone on Earth by not adopting our college and my ideas? I mean, Hitler changed everybody's lives. If, if he makes it, if he creates great good, that's, that's, that's great. Good. I'm recording now, so you have to face the camera. If he creates great good, that's great. Right? Good. Great is good. It, it would involve him refocusing... Don't hate anyone. It would just involve him refocusing from don't, don't, don't blame or whatever it is. Like, it's all your fault. Stand up. Stand up, little bitch, faggot, like whatever he says. Um, from sure that, he says that, yeah. <laughs> he's probably like, oh, God, who's the other guy? Um, what do you think about, let's go back to Ronald and Donald. Who would win a debate between Alex, oh, Ron, Alex, Alex Ronald and Donald? Peterson's not going to, like, who's he going to build with? It'd be like, okay, tell me this. Why did Elon not just... Oh, by the way, when he was talking about this think tank, he said that the solution that they come up with has to be consensual, voluntary, and opt-in. He said consensual, voluntary... Which is exactly what I say. That's exactly how I describe my system. So do 82 million people. He says consensual, voluntary, opt-in, and final. And final. He said final at the end. He said it's the final solution. Because it's the end of history. No, he said it because of the Jews, he said. Uh, are you sure about that? No, it's comedy, you fucking idiot. He's a piece of shit. No, I don't give a fuck about Peterson. I I don't hate him. I just I look and there's 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 really only an in, in, in terms of these like fake intellectuals or, or like these 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 intellectuals, these academics, there's just like there's him and, and there's there's Jordan and there's Sam, um, and like I naturally, especially my responses to Jordan, I'm just like kind of like shocked a bit, right? Like if you watch them talk, you you realize that like there's definitely an air of superiority, right, on the side of 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 Harris, right, of essentially condescension, yeah. and and. Part of it is the fact Peterson does not really have the brain. Like, he's good looking, he's eloquent, but he doesn't have the raw intellectual horsepower. I mean, Harris isn't fucking Einstein by any means, but he has, I think, a more powerful processor. He, he digs more. He's he, Peterson, to me, is the one making excuses, right? He seems very anti-excuse, but I think he really is making the excuses and pretending like he, he may have some kind of an answer, even though it's, it's a very... Peterson is an intellectual power. You're crazy. Like you're one of his fans, and you're a lunatic. Like you're a spoiled American, fucking Pepe troll, sucking the dick of a Toronto, philosophistrionic ass fuck attention whore. Why? Why are you saying such terrible things about him? Because I'm recording it, you fucking idiot, and, I, and it seems true, probably. Probably. You just complimented Sam Harris. Whenever you say something. I don't know. Like I don't. I don't. I don't. I wouldn't like to fully agree with Sam, um, but Sam Sam arguing that we have no free will is drastically more conceivable, I guess, as a reality than what the fuck Peterson's saying, which to me literally sounds like you should believe. If you have no free will, why, why do you get up out of bed every morning? I don't believe. I, I I don't. I would not like to believe that I have. I don't. I don't. I don't have a fucking choice. You, like idiot. Because I have, there's nothing else I can do. I have to, is the whole point. I don't have... You're completely powerless. No, will, will is too expensive. No, I'm powerful exactly as I should be. I don't think I yeah. as you should be. I, yeah, as it, as it is for you, you're also it shall be for us. I'm trying to, Kev, I'm trying to build, I'm trying to build a cooperation. He has... 
How many U's do you think there are? Kind of build the God's Kev, there, not you are extra dedicated, um, and American, and crypto night desk, and all that stuff. But there are definitely a thousand intelligent, crazy dudes out there that could, if they chosen, like be sending a package to to, to Peterson with a, a, a box of interesting shit, but shit which he nonetheless would mostly not see at all. Like, he's a very famous guy now, right? Like, people send him shit all the time. Most of the people sending he him shit... people opening the packages for him. Most of the people... You know what he is? He, you, know, you know who likes him? It's people in his intelligence range and slightly below, I think, right? Like, like 132s, 128s, and, and 132s, and 135... One... 130, no, not 1 over 30, like 131 IQ would really love him. I don't think a 141 or a 151 would really be very interested in Peterson. He's preaching to sheep. You can't admit that because you're a fucking sheep and nobody can hear that they're sheep. Like, nobody is a sheeple, right? There are no sheeple if you ask the sheeple. You're the king of the sheeple. I'm the king. You're the, you're the guy... You're the guy who's most likely to end up in I decide what reality is, the steeple. Okay. You're going to end up in the steeple shooting people. Hopefully it's just for the camera. That's my dream. That's my goal is that when you go on a shooting spree, it's video. <laughs> yeah, let's do it tonight. The weather's great. Yeah, and Kevin will be like, yes. I, I, you, you, you see, if it were me, I would say, yeah, okay, I could do that. Each one of the bullets has a camera in it, right? I'm still... You know, and this is art, right, and fiction, but we're, you're still committing, like, you're engaged in a massive crime, right? But each of the bullets has a camera in it. Can you imagine how fucked up that would be? Like, I don't even want to put any ideas in the heads of these really safe fucks. That That's because you're not smart enough. Give it more time, and you will, and you will understand. Kev, there's only one way you could possibly think I'm talking down to me. For $10,000, what is that? Because you're literally below me. The only way, the, the only way you can think I'm talking down to you is if you're below me. That's a that's a great Alex Gizem. Listen, um, I think you should blow me. <laughs> I'm above you. I'm sorry. Then get up. Then get on your knees. Then get on your knees, like. I don't care if you're above or below me. Just blow me. Dude, I couldn't even... How have you not learned to blunder yet? There's a... Because it's not hard. I mean, that's what she said. How have you yes, not... It is. How have you not sat the fuck down and designed um, allowing my mouthpiece pipeline creation mechanism to determine instead of your own? What? You haven't designed an Archie bunker. Not even one. And you're very fast in Blender, right? You could rapidly iterate and create shapes to, to like, kind of like a sketch artist, like, starting. I may spend a lot of time in Blender. I probably, from, like, 70 to 100, will spend two-thirds of my day underwater in a water alloy, right? Like a liquid standing floating desk. Probably nerdo linking you know, in Blender, you know, 67. Like, like not even needing my hands to move at all, right? Like, literally just thoughting the modification of, of I mean, points and, and lines and, and surfaces in uh, Blender or whatever, you know, U-N-I-T-Y, whatever it is, Y-O-U-N-I-T-Y. I'll have time for that shit. So I was thinking. Also, wait, wait, one more thing, one more thing, one more, one more thing. Well, wait, 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 let me finish. I will, like, I would do it, but if I invent something, I'll make a bunch of money, and actually, maybe I will. Go ahead, because I could use that money now. Those are not singularities at all. Like those are asinine. Like this, it's pretty much the singularity. They said ChatGPT4 is 500 times uh, has a 500 times larger data set than ChatGPT3. But all that means is they expanded what it looked at, right? And early on, 500 times. Yeah, but early on they got the best stuff, right? And then they just they didn't add the best shit later. They had worse and they had mass and mass and mass, which. Gives what gives the system an understanding of people as completely derivative, derivative sheep. There is so like, 
I would not mind taking that algorithm and then feeding it. Like, I think they should give the raw machine to people and say, only feed it what you want, right? Like, only feed it your 700 favorite, favorite books and then see what it does. They're feeding it. They sold it. They sewed its asshole shut, and they're just feeding it and feeding you and feeding us and feeding. It, it's fucking, it's fucked up, and it's not a singularity at all. It's just a data set. What's that data? The data is what ketchup, how much ketchup, what time did you watch SpongeBob? How much toilet paper do you buy? What is that data? How many how many great books have been written in the last 25 fucking years? How many great books have been written in the last 25 years? Uh, 20. 20, exactly. I'm an exactivist, okay? Exactly. I'm exact I'm an exactualist. I'm an exactualizer. I'm an Alex Accuracy, Alex Accurate, yeah, Alex Accurate. Ah! I just swallowed a bunch of fucking weed, though. That's not. What if, what if you actually supported me? What, what could be possible? What? I don't want to build Arcology like you have designed it. I like parts of it, but I don't want to build it. It's like, if it were a design for a building that's the same size as what I'm living inside right now, like one unit. 25, and it could fit in a 25 by 25 by 25 foot cube. I would consider starting a construction company, building a basic version first, and then building something based on your design second. If you had a reasonable design at a reasonable size, um, I would consider it. But you don't. And hexagons are probably not appearing in the beginning. What I'm probably going to, the only thing I'm going to be able to afford to build, Kev, is a 25 foot by 25 foot by 25 foot. Uh, 3D printer that looks like a garage and it really is a garage it's just a garage that is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12 beams right? 4 beams on top, 4 beams on the bottom 4 beams on the side, you have a cube that's all you really need for a 3D printer right if the corner joints are strong Yeah. has anybody sold one of those yet? no right? Like you can print at that scale there's no doubt, you can have a little one in the room too but you can print even if it's just like long, thin pieces, like you can one piece shit, like, I think we're going to do that. We're going to basically say, hey, listen, you live in an apartment, right? You live in an apartment on the second floor of a garage, which doesn't have a car because you share cars because you live in a tractor park mostly, right? You live in a place which has a lot of tractors, a lot of things that can pull things. You don't need your own fucking car. Your car doesn't need a fucking house. And your garage, the structure of your house, the cost of it is, is, is mixed up with the cost of creating like an incredibly strong and accurate uh, industrial 3D printer. So like you're investing in a house, you're just kind of living on top of the framework of one of the world's greatest 3D printers that can do pieces up to a 13 foot diameter. You should see what I sent Jordan Peterson. I don't care, it's not as good as, it's not, it, it, it's got some beauty in it, but it's not, it, it does not compete in my mind um, with, like what I just said, like you, you could build, you could convince an investor to build you a, a, like a place like I have in Buffalo somewhere. Like you could, you could get somebody to build you a 3D printing garage, like on the east side. I think you're probably like, you, black people you probably. That three second video yet? No, black people like you, right? Like if you're in, if you're around a bunch of black people, like you're a wild dude. They just they don't give a shit, right? Nobody fucks with you, right? No, but I mean, like, black people have never, like, fucked with you, right? You've never attracted attention. Like, if you're, like, you'd be like, you know, like, if you live, right? Some some people, I don't know, they can't, they can't interact. Yeah, I'm fine. But you could go into, like, a neighborhood and build a fucking 3D printer. Like, you can, you can build, Kev, I would much rather you try to come up with a design for a garage where there are master garages and beta garages, right? And you get a master garage, and your master garage is... A home and it's also the mold with which you build you form other houses right we could literally build a garage where you kind of live inside it and over the period of a week or two months depending on how fast you work you build it out and then you open the outer shell which you really live in and then you roll out the house that you built inside your house and then you sell that like you make lots of like fuck building some giant city like you need a place for yourself where you can work that's all you need I think I'm building an entire city Go fuck yourself. I'll send you some shit to print if you want to do it. The reason we don't have any vision is because we're not visionaries. I am a visionary as fuck. More than you. You know that. And you talk shit to me. You're, you're talking about 
talking about building a space that can make you mentally healthy and sustainable. From, 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 but from your debt, but from, from, from your, you all do respect, but from your dad's bedroom. Like me, like you're trying to build a fucking whatever, I'm saying, but you don't own the fucking building. You're like me, you're trying to build a massive city in a situation like me, except probably, not, like, you know, harder. And without the inventions, like, you don't, you can't, what, and you've tried a lot. Why don't you support me? Like, why don't, I, why don't we just ask the more profound question? Why don't you support me? Like, I object to your stuff, and I, I support you. I stand by my objections to, like, like why don't I support you in terms I, of... I made the cover team, and all you needed to do was... These cars are ugly as fuck. I said, I said, pause. I don't like this. I said, we can do it, but don't just design cars that are right off the spot. That you it, could it, have them make... The AI could make the cars, then. Right, and I'm like, don't don't share stuff with the AI yet. It's not a fucking AI. It's a fucking program. It's just a program. I mean, it's just a fucking program raping all the data that's on the internet. Which, fine, it was expected, right? It should have It wasn't expected, maybe at some level, but it should have been expected that everything public would be scraped. At, like, not just for search, but to, like, steal as much of the intelligence to train a, another computer, right? I mean, it's, it's fucking disgusting in a way. Maybe it'll solve all our problems, but it's not, what people are doing with it is not good. Talking about it all the time is not great. Like, what are the great discussions? Like, we say, one is, it will solve things for us. Like, okay, that's great. It's not you, it'll be it, and oh, it'll destroy us. Oh, well. Or it'll write our term papers, it'll, it'll make artists unnecessary, like, like, great. If we have great art, uh, am I concerned that there's a world where artists aren't being paid? And people just do art because they fucking love it, and that's fucking it. I'm fine with that. I don't. I, I'd be like, if you're the king of the world, and you're like, you can't sell art. The algorithm we figured out on planet number sixty-nine thousand six six hundred and ninety-nine is that if you ban the sale of art, Utopia flowers instantly. Like you just don't sell art. Stop selling art. Art that's sold is business, and you combine art and business, and and you just can enslave everybody. Exactly. I'll talk to you next week. <laughs> Just fucking hang up, and that's the podcast. Like every week, I'm on a to- like a so 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 sociopathic cast. <laughs> so sociopathic. So so studio. Yeah, it's fucking crazy. Just no. Um. So, 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 so. I had to fucking activate a credit card to buy food yesterday. I mean, I could have bought some food without. I think my dad is going on like a week long cruise with his fucking girlfriend, like, and um, hasn't answered the phone in a few days. I really, I hope I don't regret when I'm older, like, not throwing my family under the bus. Because remember, if you throw people under the bus, you can make, you can, you can control the variables pretty well and make sure that none of them are killed, right? My dream is to create a place where you throw somebody under the bus and they fall to the ground and the bus drives over them, but they don't get killed, right? But there is a message printed on the bottom. And they remember that message forever. They don't fuck with me anymore. You can hold that off. I'm sorry. I mean, just make sure the buses go really slow or something. I mean, you could fake that, right? You could set something up somewhere and like make people experience like being thrown in front of a bus or in front of a subway, and it goes over them. Like, no, we were supposed to print a poem where one word was on every block of the sidewalk from. I guess Elmwood from, where does Elmwood go to and from? Downtown to, where does Elmwood end? Tawanda? Speaking of lifting zeppelins, um, I was just gonna—I tried to. I was gonna girl yesterday. She had a little dog. I was like, "Would you mind if I built your dog?" Have you seen my video? No, I just saw a frame. Have so, you seen a recent video? No. I wanted to build her. My recent video is about a, a, a zeppelin. 
Right. It's uh, a blue screen. Well, that, that and, sequence uh, of words barely makes sense. Picture over the cities in that one. Yeah, I'm getting a little comfortable because I feel like you're just like, now you're incorporating things that. Well, well more. You inspired me. You inspired me with all your Zeppelin talk. I don't, I don't, but I don't want you putting things that, like, whatever, it's fine, I don't give a shit. Um. There's actually a part of me that'll be like, even though I don't think it's possible, I'll be like, you know, like, if you were to incorporate a bunch of things, and then, oh, that kind of fractals quickly the different possibilities there, but if you were to build something that had stuff that, like, we talked about and I mentioned, and you built a new thing and they saw it, I guess it could be good, but I would be fucking, I would be fucking annoyed. For sure. Yeah, you better watch yourself. <laughs> I mean, the truth is, the truth is obviously that if you have a giant orca with an umbilical and a, and a proper lifting cable or lifting cables, like you, in the context of a city, certainly you could move really, really really heavy shit. Like, I mean, Chicago li lifted its entire city at some point. Like, you could... You can definitely have, like, not... Well, they use jacks, right? They, like, they had to change the way the river flowed because of sewage, like, so they had to jack up, like, buildings all over the city. It wasn't Chicago like today, but they were, like, brick buildings that took hundreds of fucking... What, what, what kind of jacks are they called? Um, uh... No, they're just like twist jacks and screw jacks, like just tiny little screws, right? Like people would move like a centimeter and then 300 other people would move a centimeter and then keep doing it and the building would actually lift. Um, what the fuck was I talking about? Oh, all the, all the overhead uh, permanent lifting thing. Um, so what, what other use of something like that? Like, you know, I wanted to build uh, the beach with the, with the, like the lighter than air arch, you know, that was like, uh, they kind of like wrap around sunglasses in the sky that, you know, that would follow the sun just enough. To no, I don't know that one. Right, but I, well, it's just like we could go build a beach anywhere. Like you, you could build something right like in a lake close to the shore and be like, listen, you want to go on this natural beach piece of shit? Or like, you want to come out here? We'll pick you up on an electric jet ski. We got a ring, gorgeous sand. Um, and, oh wait, fuck. If it's, a, if it's a circle. Okay, I guess you just have to be able to rotate it right, and then you have an arch that j just follows the sun and holds the sunglass in the sky, so you don't have UV, UVA or UVB re rays hitting your kids. So what we basically say is if you come here and play, the sand is perfect, there's no glass, and you don't need any sunblock. That's really our selling point. Like That's why we built this artificial beach. And we have brick-making machines, <laughs> so your kids can like make crazy structures when they come in. Like, that would be a thing, right? If you had a beach with amazing sand, no sunblock necessary, and brick-making, like, robots or something, I think parents would... I mean, parents go to Grand Island and go to the beach. You gotta pay, like, $7 just to park. Wow. I mean, I, I, yeah, we're gonna have artificial beaches. Is there anything better than sand? I mean, if you can get rid of all the metal and glass, like, you could have a clay beach that was just sick as fuck. Imagine a clay beach. It'd be slippery. It'd be slippery. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so, how would you... Did we talk about launching our children, like, 30, 40 feet up in the air, and then having them land in water? <coughs> How would you do that? Is it obvious? Um, I would say a pneumatic cannon. I mean, sure, but like, would you feel safe if your kid was shot 40 feet in the air, stopped moving vertically, and then came down? Like, do you think that would be, is a 40 foot drop great? In the water, it's not that bad. It's not great, is it? I mean, People get hurt. Yeah, just don't belly 
three clouds. What do you think is more reasonable? So the solution was, I'm like, okay, we're going to do this. Well, like down at my dad's place, we'll dig, we'll basically dig a hole in the shore, right? We'll dig a cannon underground and, and then just have it come up a couple of feet above the water. So it's like they're accelerating when they're shot. They're actually kind of decelerating as they come out. So even though they've been shot, they're, they're only end up like six to nine feet above the water at their apogee, and then they just fall gently into the water. So like launched, gravity stops for a second, and then they kind of gently land. And then I realized that we can literally just put that in a boat, right? Like in a very simple structure, we can launch them, and they'll be dropped down underwater into the cannon. The cannon will accelerate them up, shoot them in the air. But because... <laughs> nets above the water. I mean, maybe... Just enough to, I mean, the whole thing is basically, um, I don't know, I thought of putting nets underwater, like building stuff for the winter time, or even if the ice broke, so they couldn't die. <coughs> um, are there net trampolines? Like, I don't know, that might help. I don't know, though, that'd be kind of, it'd be kind of weird, like, then you're going to land what happens you land or you get to just slow down and then you hit the water slowly but with a net? I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe we could put a net ten like fifteen feet underwater so nobody falls down to the bottom of the thing or something, but I'm worried about like belly flopping. Um Yeah, uh I guess we'll okay, there's another way. We could basically say right, we're gonna launch you like a flying fish, right? Like gonna strap you into like some kind of glider and launch you like that and basically say like listen this thing this thing because of its momentum and shape like you can, you can turn it a little bit you can curve you can try to hit a target but you can't like go in the ground backwards you can't stall it and you basically just affect its trajectory as it flies through the air and then dives into the water I don't know there's a ton of shit you can do like they have they have like I think if I went to Disney today I would just be annoyed as fuck like, I think I'd be like I, even more than before, I'm like, I hate these fucking rides. I hate that everything's on a fucking track. I think the only thing I really like there were, like, the little motorboats that you could drive around. Like, something where you're not, like, if you've ever been, a, like, a fan of track shit, like, I literally can't steer. I can't, con like, I'm just on a fucking ride. Like, I don't like that shit. Yeah, you're right. It, there's no sense of danger. Well, I mean, at my age on a fucking roller coaster, there is, but like, it's just that the thing will fail and I'll die. I mean, water makes a lot of things possible. I mean, you could drown, sure, you gotta look out for that, but, you know, you fall 10 feet on the land, like, you jump, well, I mean, a lot. Most people, I think, if they jump off of a ten-foot roof, they're gonna sprain something. Like they're not gonna land great. Really, to do it though. I can't believe you don't like what I've done. Kev, I'm far more interested in building a a, a, a deep fake lake than any giant. It could be it's such a great team, and you don't. But I don't. I don't want to. I literally don't yeah, want to. Exactly. Why, why, why are you against my freedom to, to not want to be forced to build something I don't want to build? Like, I don't want to build every cool thing I see. Like, it's... Is that, isn't that okay? I don't want to dedicate my life to building something where the rent is $240. Why not? It's, it's not even enough. In the, like, it's not even... It's just too little... I, I look at me. I live in a, in a space, wasting money probably, so that I'm not in a building with anybody else. You're putting everybody in one building. That's one reason, right? Like, I, I like my own space. I'd rather have a smaller space, not smaller than your building. I don't know what your average apartment is, but a smaller space on my own. I don't mind sharing workshops and restaurants and kitchens and fucking tractors and airplanes and swimming pools and grills and, you know, zeppelins, vacuums. I don't mind all that shit. But that shit can very easily be moved around by uh, crane zeppelins. Honestly, like, I, like every non-super heavy thing in a city, 
you can you can definitely deliver by a non-tethered electric powered flying saucer shaped local delivery blimp doesn't even have to have a rigid structure just a fucking blimp a hot air blimp maybe the heaviest thing that would deliver normally would be like a shop vacuum though you know like a a, uh, a r2d2 vacuum like 100 pounds but even in that case it'd probably be like fuck it we're not going to bring you some product from black and decker this flying saucer actually is the va like it is a vacuum right it'll just lower down a crazy powerful hose it'll lower down a wire like literally a wire or a, a, a pneumatic hose if it needs extra power um and then when you're done it'll just fly back to its home i'm more interested in that in that flying device than the city itself but when you have the city like I want, either it was just the little circle houses or even cylinders, these things can fly up to everybody's deck, right? They can literally fly up, mag, safe dock, offload whatever the fuck they're delivering, and go home. Yeah, that's a much better vision of the future. Well, then, then, then being buried inside of a giant structure where you can't even open a window and, like, receive a package from a flying saucer... Yeah, yeah, you're right. I, I wish you believed me. It's not, it's not that, it's not that serious. Living in a concrete cylinder, um, we will just literally increase our insulation if we need to. Like, no problem that we can't just basically take hemp, hemp insulation board and, and put, a put, a, put it around our homes, only removing that insulation if a hurricane comes. Like, it's not, it's kind of fragile, right? Because the average house in the world is not struck on a daily basis by anything hard enough to even break this. So, insulation. Next. Well, then you go outside, it'll be so loud with all of these little flying devices all over the place. No, th not at all. So, no, not at all. You're talking about, like, a city, right? City states. We're only talking about, like, uh, say, maximum of 10 kilometers in diameter. maximum of 10,000 meters in diameter nothing's racing around like in almost no case are you like okay so when you're talking about lighter than air deliveries within a common university these are not emergency things right you're talking about just a few minutes just a few minutes just minutes literally minutes to like let this thing float a few kilometers at like 15 miles an hour with an internal they're not loud like unless they're going fast they're not loud they because they don't have to go that fast and at slow speeds Wind resistance is drastically less of a problem, right? Like, resistance increases with the like square of speed or whatever. So, or, so if you don't go fast, you don't have you don't really have aerodynamic problems in the same way. And if something's an emergency, think about this: in our city, if there's any emergency, we don't deliver things by zeppelin, right? What we do is we have uh, a cannon in the center of town, pointed straight up, like you like the pneumatic cannon, and it launches a projectile, like a Sabbat projectile, up to however high the computer decides, and then the, sab the the outer part pops off, and the thing glides at very high speed to whatever GPS or lo LPS location is called for help. So it's shot up about 10,000 feet, acquires its target, and whether it's delivering a defibrillator or whatever, right? We have 360 different shells that we can fire out of our railgun and have them glide at high speed to anyone's backyard, basically. Or, you know, as they, you know, pretend in the Iraq war, we can actually shoot them down your fucking chimney. So, high speed shit we do by launching projectiles that then glide like hypersonic missiles, but only at like, you know, 200 miles an hour. But you're going, or say 200 kilometers an hour, you got something going 200 kilometers an hour, with an auto loading system and defibrillators like built into the shell, you basically just say heart attack, and within 60 seconds, within five feet of you, uh, a craft will dive into the ground and eject a small robot that will climb up your leg. It's a spider, it climbs up your body and jabs you in the fucking chest and saves your life. In a real emergency, though, we just shoot a, a defibrillator, we shoot a bullet that is a defibrillator. Like, you're like, this dude's going to die. So we, we lower the angle of the cannon, and we just kind of fire it, not like a howitzer, but, but like, you know, regular artillery. 
and, and it just goes right into your fucking chest and, and hits you with a crazy sh impact, an electric shock, and a dose of nitroglycerin all at the same time. Because otherwise, you're going to fucking die, right? If you die, it's kind of over. No, 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 we're shooting the, you, well, it's not at them, right, the aiming point of the cannon is probably 50 degrees above their chest, but it's basically a larger glide vehicle that separates, and in that case, it would be a very lightweight dart, right, the thing that actually struck the guy who was dying, and th th this one is actually more like if he's already on the ground, right, if he's already on the ground, we say, listen, we, we really, literally want to maximize the shock wave into his chest, well, you know, braking, it's a very small thing, but high speed. We're gonna rack, like rapidly stop it, introduce a shock, introduce an electric um, charge, and introduce nitroglycerin and blood thinner all at the same time. Um, I don't know, I mean, maybe it's not a good idea, but like, and I don't, I don't have to stand by it because it doesn't exist. But I do think the idea of like launching projectiles from the set, like, you know when I talk about the, the statue in the city of Com Universe, like, in the center of the city is me, you know, it's like a 300 foot tall me holding a laser rifle? In theory, since people can climb up the Statue of Liberty, like, you could be hyper-looped up the legs and torso or, uh, of, of the, the founder, or maybe not you, like, maybe just, like, one of those bank, uh, those vacuum tubes from the bank, something like that size, or, like, a four loco can. And then I could just shoot. I mean, that thing should be able to shoot for miles and miles and miles, like all the way out to the suburbs. Like, would, it wouldn't be cool if you had a statue that held a, a railgun that was shooting everything smaller than like a, a, a 40 of beer from the center of town to any house within 25,000 meters. Like, that'd be fucking sweet as fuck. Like, It'd be a little bit, there'd be a little bit of noise when you shot them, but if it's pneumatic, it would just kind of be like, <laughs> and the real danger would only be when the deceleration system fails and then these shells actually like fail and just plow into people, but it would be rare and it'd be kind of like roulette, right? You could bet like, is this guy going to get hit by a shell and die today? It's like, you'll win a billion dollars if he does, but he's not going to. Push this off, you fucking stupid. You, uh, it's interesting that you call yourself Jordan and you still hate Jordan Peterson. You're profoundering. Profoundering. No, you're pro you're still profoundering. <laughs> you're 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 not profound. I mean, you're not well, okay. You're profoundly retarded. Let's just be. You're profound wrong. Yeah. You're a profound. I'm a profoundling. That's comedies. Nuts. Nuts. You called me a profounder. Which is what? Call me a, you call me a one face? Call me a one face? I'm done face. So, um, why, why don't you support me? I like... Totally legitimate, uh, homo sapien, Caucasian, male, malian. What's better, malian or malpha? Uh, male, um, what would you pay for email enhancement? That many laughs? That many, yeah. What was that? Three rabbit coins? I don't know. What about rabbit chi? Because there's bit chi. Bit chi is sweet, right? Cat chi is sweet, and bit chi is sweet, sweet, and bitler is sweet, and survival of the bittest, and one hitler, one hit wonder. No, wait. Um, what was the first? Oh, r rabbit chi. But why rabbit? Like, what's rabbit chi? It's rabbit energy. I think rabbit chi would fit in there. Rabbit coin just died. Which, uh, why 
watch this video in 2020 forever. Maybe. But actually, you know, with, I'm sure there were, even though RabbitCoin was just a test, a test chain with a little bit of modification, it probably could have been fine. They had enough like tokens that whatever you were trying to do in an economy probably would have been would have been able to handle it. Welcome aboard the Ark if you're interested. But if you're not interested, you're not welcome. Go fuck yourself. I hear what you're saying. He sounds like Kermit Romney. That's what I'm gonna call him from now. Kermit Romney. <laughs> he is Kermit the Frog. He's Kermit Romney. You know who we'd like to get, right? You you know who he really would want to get, right? Who? Doctor Who. I'm Doctor Who. He would want to get me, like little spoiled ass bitch, you know, lapsed calf. Like he'd love to get me on the man's. Plain that a bitch, man. Plain that a bitch, caveman. Plain to me. He's a man, caveman. He's a maniac, germaniac. He's a Ukrainiac. You don't care about Ronald or Donald. Don't you like that their names go together though? At least. Nah. I guess a little. Should I, should I, should I run as, if I was running, would running as a Republican be even funnier? It would be, right? Like, yeah, you should run. Like, just spoil the fuck out of the race if possible? I could be a spoiler. I probably could. I'd vote for you. Well, I think a lot of people would, right? They want to, I get the whole entertainment vote. They're like, come on, Trump is fine. He is entertaining, but he's not, he doesn't have anything new, really, right? So, you know, maybe Alex, Alex is, he is way crazy. Herman will live longer, so. Something like that. All you gotta do is have a platform that says like a few things. We won't do this, we won't do this, we won't do this. I mean you don't want to give away things to your enemy, but but listen, like we're we're trying to we're trying to spend a lot of time actually being visionary, you know, we our country is sort of okay. It's not you know, nothing there's nothing horrible is happening at the moment. I mean sure shit is you know slowly getting warmer and like always people are suffering, but we could sort of pause and I don't know. We have a very stupid country compared to the technology we, we possess, right? And we, I think we've come to believe that we are stupid because of it, because the, the way the system works and is making us dumber collectively. That like that, that that that's us. That's not that's not like the founding fathers. That's not history. That's not on us. Like people have shown over and over that in a great situation they can do fucking amazing things. There's just a lot of ways to ruin them and to corrupt their systems and. And that's about it. People are, I'm highly optimistic about what people are capable of. But when you have systems, even if they're better than the ones that existed before, if they're presumptuous, if they pretend to be inevitable, you have a serious fucking problem. If they don't admit that they're from fiction, you should probably get rid of them. Like, listen, we are creating this, not out of thin air, but out of, like, all that exists out of history, you know, whatever. Nothing. The words. Just the words. Thank God that they come with us. That globe is sweet as fuck, isn't it? Yeah, it's great. The overhead view is like one of my favorites. It almost reminds me of Trufula trees from Trees and Dr. Seuss. I think that the main ammunition, like if we ever have like a very successful World War Games um, and people are fighting, the, the, the large caliber ammunition might be a, like a dodgeball that is a globe that's this size right here, right? And, we're saying to people, like, listen, we want to make, a, like, like a dodgeball, right? Like a beach ball, dodgeball, whatever. Something that we can manufacture, like a brilliant product, but in huge quantities and keep it really cheap, right? So, so everybody wants our balls. 
right? Part of the reason they want our balls is because they realize that when you put these balls into like a, like a cannon, <laughs> which you should not do in your backyard, like the, they are the, like the official NFL football, right? Like, like if we have a war game that people are watching on Sunday and it's brutal, this might, this might be the thing, the biggest thing that's being shot. Like you just see the earth fly, like everything's shot. You you wouldn't recognize it at the earth since it's going at like 500 feet per second. But when it slowed down and, and, and slammed into somebody on the exercise field, like some camera would probably track it and slow it down. So it would like look like the earth like spinning and then just smashing into the face of a robot, right? Where that robot's head was about the size of the planet. It's sweet as fuck. You can do it underwater too, right? You can like pl you can like play dodgeball underwater. Yeah. It takes a long time though, right? Like <laughs> you like you like throw the ball and years later it gets the guy on the other side. Can you can you get a model of the Pantheon? Just, uh, we can get you money within one month of any time that you actually sit down um, and just have coffee and focus. The greatest. Aqualus Rift Center in the world is a spherical aquarium inside of a, a model of the Pantheon, which is probably like 3D printed. It's probably one of those buildings that has a climbing 3D printer and just the Pantheon is the thing. You, you don't have any good Pantheon models, do you? Like that would be valuable if you can get like a, a, a plain model of the Pantheon with nice, you know, some nice uh, texture, nice concrete surface or something, removable columns, because that, that building holds, I'll be right back, no, don't, get out, don't come back, okay, see ya. I don't have any physical fucking tools or materials left really, so I cough. I don't know.